morning, everyone. Tom Cook here at the uh, Smoking Pot Coffee Shop. This is one of the newest coffee shops in Houston. And I say new because not only did it just open on Saturday at Long Lines, but it's also one of the first to have CBD-infused coffees. CBD, of course, derived from the hemp plant. Uh, it is legal in the state of Texas. And let's bring in Garrett Lasea here, who actually, you came out to help out some of your friends here in the coffee shop. Yes, uh, you're going to be opening one of your own places soon, but tell us about this shop and why it was so special. Uh, I would say that not only is it the first, so it's a definite wave that's happening in our city right now. So if you can hop in and capitalize now and then also set a standard for what's to come. I think this place, not only in the area, but they have a lot of opportunity to be very successful for sure. So tell us what makes this coffee different other than CBD infused coffee? Uh, other than CBD, I, I would say that would probably be the key ingredient for a difference, honestly. Um, just the fact that, you know, we're, we're instilling that and then we also have a full CBD range. So, I mean, you also get to gain the knowledge for natural medicinal help and then you get your caffeine. It's a good, I would say, wake, wake and go routine for sure. Okay, so you brew regular coffee and then add the CBD oils to it or CBD first and then the coffee on top of it? Uh, the system here right now is uh, CBD and then we're extracting the espresso over the top and then that's gonna remain for your, your beverage. Can you taste the CBD oils? Uh, I would say the CBD, you, you can't taste it. I mean, even a uh, pure extract, if you drop it under your tongue, you're not going to really, it'll have some flavor, planty flavor, but it's not going to be a, a noticeable thing that comes up. Maybe as we're talking here, Jesus can get a shot of some of these other medicinal products made from CBD. And you tell me, what is it now about CBD that has kind of so many Americans, uh, I don't, you know, looking into the medicinal uh, I would say uh, not only is it naturally healing and helping people, and uh, I know plenty of people who are also able to get off prescriptions or whatever the case that has the side effects that they don't desire, and then now they're able to help themselves in a more natural way, I would say. Okay. So CBD, it's been legal here in the state of Texas since 2015 or so? Yes, sir. Uh, I actually have a buddy uh, who owns a hemp culture in Pasadena, and he's one of the first Definite uh, shops that started, helped with this movement, and um, it's definitely a great thing, I would say, the fact that it's now legalized, because it definitely doesn't uh, have any mental effects, as in... Doesn't get you high, you're yeah, saying. there you go. And then, uh, so it's just, uh, I would say, all-around benefits include into your daily routine, honestly. But the difference between CBD and THC for marijuana is that CBD contains very, very low traces, right, of THC? Yes, I think sir. it's 0.3 in the state of Texas, anything higher than that. 0.3% is what it contain at maximum. Yes, sir. Um, I would say that, uh, that it's going to be a very uh, tricky, fine line of how we're going to straddle that line as in we're going to produce this especially for a producer standpoint as if you're going to produce this strain or any of these products you know what I mean so it's just a matter of getting starting initially with the right CBD standpoint and then from there on and and also having a reputable producer or grower so you know exactly what you're so you don't get yourself in trouble down the road, for sure. CBD oils extracted not from marijuana plants, but from industrial hemp. Yes, sir. That's what I've been reading mainly about. Um, it's not marijuana. Even if it is a, a feminized plant, I would say it's still uh, the strain is actual CBD percentage high and, and all the way less than 1% THC. All right, Garrett, and I know you're talking about opening up one of your own coffee shops coming up in the not-too-distant future. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll be getting ready. Um, it's going to be South Houston um, near Hobby Airport, and we're kind of getting everything finalized, food costs, menu-wise, and then we're going to start start hitting it hard, as in just knocking out stuff. So. You see CBD as a trend that's just beginning. Yeah, it's definitely a trend that's just beginning, and... Um, it's also something that's going to stick around for sure. I see, I see CBD and hemp being as big as the economy as tobacco was at one point in time. So, Interesting prediction. Okay, that uh, is, is Garrett Masea, right? Masea, excuse me, uh, who is here at the Smoking Pot Coffee Shop. And we'll walk back here and show you partially how some of the uh, coffee is made back here. You guys mind if I just come back here and show the 
baristas hard at work. In a, in a CBD coffee shop, you still call baristas? And you are? I'm Steven Sofka. Hey, Steven. Nice to see you. Um, you work here. I do. Big day Saturday, your opening day. Uh, it was ridiculous. Uh, we had over 3,000 customers, and it was it was hectic all day. There was at least a two-hour wait all day. Um, it was It was quite, quite amazing to see everybody working. And Were you expecting that? Um, we knew it was going to be a lot of people, because we had 17,000 reposts on our Facebook post. But to that extent, it was it was remarkable seeing everybody wait and being patient and, and coordinating. Is that response because it's so new here in the state of Texas? I mean, CBD oils have been legal here for what four years since 2015. Yeah, yeah. So but people are just beginning to pick up on it. I would say it's not only the fact that it's been legal for so long that it's it's kind of lost its stigma of criminalization. So it's also like the community coming out on 420 to support other local businesses that are important, not important, um, enthusiastic about mm -hmm. the consumption of legal products. And so it's just the first also first coffee shop in Houston to use CBD and it's just a, it's a nice refreshing step and, and I want to say the right direction. Difference between this and products derived from marijuana. Obviously this is industrial hemp. Yes, so this, is, this is industrial hemp. Um, it has actually nothing to do with marijuana. Um, CBD can be derived from completely different brand, or not brand, plant, I guess, right. genus, different family. Yeah. But it's the level of THC in the so, CBD oil that differentiates this from marijuana. Yes, so in hemp there is allowed to be, I think it's up to 3.5% THC. It's kind of unavoidable because it's just naturally found in the plant. We've bred it out so much. I mean, granted it was about 70-30 back whenever it was naturally grown by nature is 70% uh, THC, 30% CBD. We've bred it out so where we can use just hemp and just CBD. Um, I think it's it's also really invigorating to see the public accept it so well and, and people be so enthusiastic about it. Do you think this is just the beginning, as I asked Garrett, of a trend? Um, yeah, I would like to say so. I would like to see that everybody embraces it and loses the stigma of, of being criminal and, and like a hooliganish. Okay, so a cup of coffee, coffee that might usually give you the jitters doesn't you say because it sort of counter effects? Yes, yeah. so it's actually a nice dichotomy of like energy and relaxation. So you feel energetic but still relaxed at the same time because it's like it's like an upper and a downer. It's, it's really nice blend. What are the medicinal benefits of THC in this level. In, so medicinal in, benefits in CBD derived from that. yes. So yeah. I would say at this level of of 3.8 percent, 3.5 percent, it's you really have no effect of CBD, but it's predominantly T. Uh, no, sorry, got them reversed. The, you have no effect of the THC. It's predominantly CBD. It's so CBD is used for a muscle relaxer. It's a painkiller, and then also um, I know people with uh, seizures use it as a seizure repressant, okay. and it's been very successful okay. in that fact. I mean, the medicinal benefits have been touted for a long time, but people are only now beginning to realize them. Yes, I mean, much like other things, I mean, it kind of got a bad name back when Nixon was using it to, like, ostracize the African-American and hippie community um, from the political standpoint and, and push the Vietnam War, but that's a whole nother topic. Okay. So this, obviously, is going to get start growing in, you think, popularity, coffee shops like this or other businesses that sell CBD-infused products? Yeah, I think once people realize the viability of having just a simple CBD coffee shop, people are going to start to realize that, hey, you know, this isn't something that people buy on the street anymore. This is something that's viable and is safe and can be enjoyed on a regular basis. Okay.